Hi, my name is Deborah L. Welty. I am a certified teacher of decorative art at Jubilee Junction Art Studio. My website is koalityart.com. I thought I would show you how I like to decorate things with leaves. First, I start by gathering a variety of sizes and shapes, and I spread them around to figure out how I want them to be placed. And then I draw around them with a normal number two pencil. If that doesn't show up, you can always use a charcoal pencil that has a darker lead. I set my palette up in the order that the colors go through the color wheel because that way I always know that the colors that are beside each other will look great painted against each other. I like to find interesting leaves with the bug bites and the bug bites on fall leaves I paint those in a dark green. So whenever I'm using a green on my surface, I start with that first, and I'm putting that around the bug bite. You apply the paint heavily so that it saturates with the weave of the fabric. I'm using DecoArt So Soft Fabric Acrylics. And then the next color that is beside it is um, dark burgundy. Dark burgundy works well to blend into a dark green. They just give you a type of a burnished look. So that's the reason I put that one next. It does not work to put a color, to skip a color and put that color next. Very rarely does that work or you get kind of a muddy look. So if you set your palette up this way, no matter what medium you are using, you should have a high degree of success. Next we go into Christmas red. Maple leaves tend to be more reds and oranges and bright, bright glowing type colors. Oak leaves tend to be more of the dark burgundies, gold, rust type colors. I don't have time in this little clip to show you how they all work. You'll see that I'm moving rapidly and as my paint dries or isn't moving or isn't blending well, I'm just grabbing more paint. I can go back and forth into my dark burgundy and into my Christmas red to get the type of look that I want as I move out from the area where I'm painting. And then I can end up out here with some cadmium orange and I can blend that into the red out here on my tips. And I do, if I have too much paint moving, I do wipe it on my paper towel and I continue to blend and I continue to work out from there. I am painting with the brush held up on the chisel edge. That helps give me a nice crisp edge there. I think I'm going to go with a little bit of a darker color down here at the base of the leaf and finish this tip out just with the Christmas red. Keeping it a little darker. Then as I proceed on up the leaf, I will go ahead and go back into some of my lighter values because then I can have it lighter up here. I've got some tangerine here where we can get it really bright. And I've already painted this apron with lots of different leaves so I can see color combinations because right now it's summertime and I don't have any fall leaves to look at for color suggestions. A lot of times I will save leaves from the previous fall that I can use in the summertime because I don't always get all my fall painting done in the fall when I, I might want to paint those. Or napkins or fabric can give you some ideas of what are really good color combinations to use. We could even get a little primary yellow out here and get it real nice and bright right out here on the tip. And sometimes I keep it the same across here and sometimes I make it a lot lighter and brighter in the center. And I just continue to do the same thing throughout the entire leaf until I have it all covered if I want to, I could make this whole left side much lighter and brighter than I did on the right side. 
there's not really any wrong color combination. Really, the only wrong thing you can do, could do is to try blending orange into the green or something. That would not give you a very pleasant color. So the best thing you can do is to set your palette up the way I've showed you here and just enjoy painting your leaf. Now the stem, I generally always paint the stem the same color that I have painted the leaf at the area where the stem attaches, which I call the base. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial today, and you can find more information on my website, qualityart.com. Thanks for joining me. Bye.